A London university has been banned from teaching students from outside Europe following an investigation by the UK Border Agency. It found evidence that some students at London Metropolitan University had no right to be in the UK, while the university didn't know whether others were turning up for courses or not. However, the National Union of Students has called the ruling unfair, and it could mean that up to 3,000 students face deportation. London Metropolitan University student Emmanuel Egru says he spent nearly forty thousand pounds on his ed education at the university so far it's outrageous it's just it's i'm totally disturbed i'm worried my parents are worried i've been in this university since 2009 my parents spend a lot of money paying tuition fee for me and accommodation and my living expenses they sell my property properties back home to make sure that they take care of me here and this is happening to me i mean how how do you expect me to feel Commentators have argued that the government's committed to reducing immigration, but it has very few mechanisms at its disposal to do that, so it's focusing on foreign students, as Immigration Minister Damien Green explains. More than a quarter of the students we sampled were studying at the university when they had no leave to remain in this country. Obviously, one of the things we require is a decent standard of English and... Uh, again, a significant proportion of the files we checked, uh, there was no uh, proper evidence that the mandatory English levels had been reached. And the third big area is that we require universities uh, to know that the students are turning up at the course so that they're not just using a student visa to come here to work. And we found that more than half uh, of the records we sampled showed that the university didn't know whether students were turning up or not. Well, the body that represents black and minority ethnic students at the NUS have said that there are more black students at the London Metropolitan University than at all the Russell Group universities around the country combined. They have fears that this action may spread to affect black students at other British universities. NUS Black Students Officer Aaron Kiley joins BBC Radio Nottingham this afternoon. Welcome, Aaron. Thank it's, you for having me. It seems that... Um, this news is going to be affecting students of African and Caribbean origin vastly. Absolutely. I mean, this kind of action, um, an institution like London Metropolitan doesn't go ahead without massively impacting on, um, disproportionately, on African and African Caribbean um, students. And what we're seeing here is a massive attack against, um, you know, uh, black students in London Met and also worryingly something that could um, very easily be replicated up and down um, the country. And our immediate call is for the reversal of this decision and for um, students to actually challenge what's happening because we don't actually want this kind of, um, you know, targeted... Um, um, bullying of international students to happen. Um, you know, London Met as an institution has had to put up with a lot of things from this government, from massive um, amounts of cuts and um, privatisation. And this is just the latest in a long line of attacks against the students there um, at what is a, essentially a widening participation to institution which allows many black students to participate in education um, and you know we think it's completely unfair and we're going to challenge it all the way. In some circles there there is a perception that international students are just here to flout the rules. What's your experience of that? Does the union accept that some might be here to work and not study? Our union believes that international students make a massive and um, positive contribution to the communities um, that they um, come and join. Um, you know, international students are involved in um, volunteering, they're involved in charity work, and they make a massive cultural and social contribution as well to campuses. I mean, if you go to London Metropolitan, you'll see a celebration of every single culture across the world. Um, you know, many African, many Caribbean, and that's something to be celebrated. It adds so much to our rich diversity. Um, and to me, this is, you know, an a, a flagrant attack on that. Um, and we've got to do everything that we can to challenge it. And we don't, um, you know, we don't think that the issue is um, is, is about some people, you know, uh, abusing the system. In fact, we reject the system um, because we think it is actually unfair, and it does um, stop uh, campuses from being the best that they can be. And people come to the UK to study because of its world-class education system. And you know, that's something that we should be proud of. But we shouldn't be treating international students like this. We should treat them with the dignity and respect that they deserve. Um, they pay thousands of pounds as well, um, far more than home and EU students. And we should respect that that makes a massive economic and financial contribution to the community and also to the government. Talking of which, what message do you think this sends to black students who are thinking about coming to the UK to study in, in the coming years? 
Well, you know, we've heard things from uh, students at London Metropolitan and students up and down the country, actually, that they're extremely fearful um, of, their, of their own situation. And we do genuinely think that this will absolutely put off many students who do want to come here, who do want to study, who do want to contribute, um, you know, to uh, UK and actually, um, you know, share the benefits of education um, with all of us. So we do think it's going to have a massive impact and we do think that people will be put off much to the detriment of, of education in, in the UK.